Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Tonight, we wrap a busy first week of the season with a second of two on a Monday night between the Indianapolis Colts and the Los Angeles Chargers. Josh Lambeau now ready to put this one in the air. And we are underway in Southern California. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. start the drive 13 yards picking up the first well one unit i know you want to watch is that offensive line if they keep clearing holes like that it could be a long night defensively no doubt about it because when they are in sync as we're seeing so far when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front line markers, it's going to be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And will finally be taken down, but not before he gets it to the Colts' 12-yard line. It's a big one there for the Chargers. So that about the shortest pass a quarterback can make, but it winds up going for a bundle. Yeah, let's face it, in the stats, it sure looks like a heck of a throw, doesn't it? <laughs> it's almost like in baseball, when you get that little Texas leaguer, it turns into a double. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Excellent start there. First drive of the season. Big time success putting it in the end zone. And remember, that was done without any real map of how to do it. In other words, the deeper you get into the season, you get game film to work off of, tendencies to work off of. The first drive of the season, things can be entirely different than what you've seen in the past. It's a really good job of execution by them. Eason and the Colts now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. First carried out for former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And not much to speak of. from the 26. Here's Eason to throw. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screens on the 12 times in the game. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. It's second and eight. some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. And that 
false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Eason going to throw it out of the shotgun. That's complete to Jonathan Taylor out of the backfield. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make it third down. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progression and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going in the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. On third down, Eason. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Give the Colts 13 yards at a first down. Colts. The give to Taylor. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And all the way down to the 25-yard line. Tackle That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. On first down, Jacob Eason. Campbell making the catch. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there, and if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. Eason on second down. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. From the gun is Eason. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. Kenneth Murray. Eason. Drops him for a loss of 10. And it's going to be fourth and long. It's fourth down and goal. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find one to get you into the end zone, get you six? The Chargers take over first and ten at their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Charger football to start quarter number two. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. 
When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. On is the Chargers punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Operating from the gun, Eason. Catch made here by Campbell. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. First down, Indianapolis. Now Taylor. And he's going to get across midfield and into Charger territory. The ball carrier. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Third down. Now Issa. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. The Charger drive about to get going. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Give them 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give them a first down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not much, maybe a yard. 29. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Herbert off of play action. And he will find his man on the outside. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Taken down at the 41. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. And we remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll hand things off to the coach, Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have a look back at a very intriguing opening weekend in the NFL. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. 
He's got a first down, then some inside the 40. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A handoff as they run the counter play. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Caught by the tight end Ertz. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 11 yards there, first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him, but the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Yeah, he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Gonna give this time to the tailback, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. The Chargers gonna signal for the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And he will maneuver his way down to about the 7. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. The line of scrimmage, the 7 now on second and goal. On second and goal, here's the option. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We hit a wall, so to speak. And hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Man, both sides searching for adjustments. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Throwing is Eason. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. Call it a pickup of seven, and they're going to face a third down. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end... Give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to him and forcing a third down. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. From the gun, Eason. They'll get that one to Taylor complete. They'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a fourth down. That goes in the category of a play that the defense is going to cherish and excite them. A completion, yes, you give up the pass, but no gain. I mean, that's exactly what you want on defense. It sets up the fourth down. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line. 
The Charger drive about to get going. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. How about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. running back. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Made by Bobby Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Brings up second and ten. At the so after the run for no gain here's second and ten. <laughs> Herbert now. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen. And it sets up a third down. From the 50, here's Herbert. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. Herbert, nothing doing on that one. And it'll be fourth down. Well, if you're going to pass on third and one, you better get a first down if you complete it. They completed it, but no gain. The aiming point has to be beyond the first down marker where you throw the ball. Third and one, you can't have anything that's even close to the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you run the risk of what we just saw there, not getting the first down. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. He'll determine that on the sideline. But bottom line, you can see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. And two. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. time to the tailback. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Play action. It's Herbert. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. But at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best. 
and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He made his first, this from 47 yards out. And this one is right down Broadway. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. To chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. But it mild, though, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. Maybe I get their timing back. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. He can run for it, and he will. Yeah, this is going to be a Colts first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do. Trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now this time he'll look to throw. He'll find Taylor. That's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from home and incomplete. Now it's third down. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game. And there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. To throw on third down. Eason. And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. into this one that hurts their chances right there they had to put it mildly we look at the lead look at the deficit trying to make a play downfield everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero didn't turn out that way at all and you're exactly right it's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now give them a couple on the carry there second and eight i'm sure that that's going to be the formula just keep the ball on the ground keep that clock moving and when you have to lead this late in the game Above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Over in first quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, 
You're really almost discrediting their work. Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And that one falls incomplete. Try to dump it underneath. Now second down. to throw again. Eason. Flush to his right. He'll try and run it. And he'll be just shy of the 20 at the 19 as he goes out of bounds. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. Taylor. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Operating from the gun, Eason. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. Remember, throughout my career here in defensive coach, you always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Throwing on third and long, Eason. Time tonight, he's intercepted. Well, well, it's picked. And this will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, down two scores in the fourth quarter. It maybe wasn't quite desperation time, but it was getting close. And that interception there on the deep ball, that probably slams the door on their chances. And maybe that was the thought process, that it wasn't quite desperation time. So now you take the shot before they're going to lay back any further on defense. Go ahead and throw it down. Unfortunately, it didn't work. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they get a good chance of ending up winning this game. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. He will push his way down to about the 14. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Taking it in from 14. 
13 yards out, and the Chargers are going to add on to their lead. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. Yeah, two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they knew coming in that this would be a tough place to go in and win a season opener. But this has just been a perfect nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the offense will cover this one up, but they'll be pushed back inside their own 10. Able to fall on it, but look where they recovered it. That's a big loss. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. And now we're going to get a delay of game. And that's going to back him up halfway. On second down, it's Taylor. Again, it's Taylor. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the 9-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. A gain of a yard. It's now fourth down. 